question. Yeah. You want to light one up? What? This has been awesome. It's a big parade. Every year, millions of Americans travel to the beach to celebrate the 4th of July, or Independence Day as we know it. Well, today on Cars and Cameras, we're going to do the same, except we're going to be road tripping our 1969 King Midget micro car over 300 miles to get there. We're going to be entering an Independence Day parade with the King Midget there as well, if we can make it the 250 miles to the parade. So we picked up this King Midget where it had been sitting since a number, for a number of years. The inspection went out in 01, so I can only assume it's been off the road for more than 20 years. We swapped the tired Kohler engine out for a brand new Predator 670. We uh, put the exhaust on it, which sounds beautiful. New tires, dual master cylinder, did we do wheel cylinders? We, we yes. rebuilt one. The rest of them are new brake lines. And we are going to attempt to drive this thing probably the furthest distance in a one way trip this thing's ever done before. Will it make it? I don't know. So our pre-flight checklist is pretty much complete. We're gonna roll this thing in the shop and we will see you bright and early for day one of our two day 4th of July road trip. So turns yeah. out we weren't quite ready. <laughs> it's now nine o'clock at night and we're just giving our steering one last look because it's really steering and brakes are what we really need to work. And we're trying to eliminate slop because this thing had a gnarly death wobble at like 50 miles an hour. And what? that for five, six hours is not going to be great. No. What am I talking? Five, six hours, eight or 10 hours. <laughs> All right, someone wiggle on the steering. The problem is that tire steers and this one doesn't. And that's what contributes to our sketch. Hopefully we'll be all right. This is what the king told us. Well, it's one wheel drive and it's one wheel steer. Morning, boys. Morning. I don't think we are mentally or physically prepared for the smackdown this car is about to put on us. Wow, this front really isn't, it doesn't feel good. Awesome. Completely untested. Sketchiest pothole. Yeah. The, the pothole wasn't that bad, but the car didn't like it. Didn't like it. We've been on the road like 10 minutes, and the back of the seat is getting pretty warm. Yeah. I don't know if I can do the whole trip by myself, but. Really good look over when we get to a good spot. 
one that is. Hey! We made it to our first stop. Are we halfway there? Not even close. Not even close. Dude, we've done some sketchy stuff. This is pretty bad. This is pretty bad. Yeah. Other than these socks. These socks are like the worst. Oh, they're legendary. Dude, that one, uh, that one little boot scooting boogie y'all did <laughs> coming down the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was it, man. Luckily, yeah. there wasn't any traffic coming. Or was there? I can't remember. I don't know. I can't remember. I thought that was it. I thought so, too. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Dude, I don't think those shocks do anything. Oh, no, they don't. I think they're done. Oh, dear. She's getting warm back here, too, fellas. Are, are there springs or are they just shocks with internal springs? Because, Sid? I just got shocks right there. Yeah, but the shocks, look. They're gone. They bounce as fast as I can. Oh, boy. Yeah, but this is what I'm. Yeah, it's the, side the wiggle. Side. They do say not for highway use, so this is educational for people. Okay. So if it says not for highway use, it's not for highway, it's use. Not for highway use. Yeah. So your moment of truth. Okay. So what was it, an hour drive? Hour and ten minutes? I don't know. Alright. A little under half a tank. Okay. So what was it, an hour drive? Hour and ten minutes? I don't know. Alright. A little under half a tank. Not bad. All right. So we might need to start looking might, for. Might need to stop need to look soon. for a gas station. Yeah. We can calculate our fuel mileage too. I think so far so good. Is that chain getting a little loose, Charles? Or is it... oh, oh, we're no, good. It's right where oh, and it's still it's still got chain wax on it. So that stuff that go power sports. So this is really good. good. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think we're looking pretty good. I suppose I'll check the oil. Yeah, I suppose. Is it that wasn't... still our braking oil, by the way? All right, so we're going to change that after. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, brought the, I brought the catch. <clears throat> I brought everything. So we're letting the King Midget cool off a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we stopped at the historic Okanichi Speedway Trails. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Me and my family have been out here. Uh, we walked it a few times. As far as I know, the Okanichi Speedway was the, the nation's second NASCAR sanctioned track. And it was a dirt track to begin with, and is and I think it ended its life as a dirt track, and it's I think it's still pretty much there, so you can kind of walk on the same ground that they used to race on. It's kind of cool, and there's a few cars out there. Oh, let's go find them. Yeah. So this is turn one and two right here. Yeah. Oh yeah. And the the old bleachers, and I think the I think they rebuilt it, like the flag stand. It's actually kind of sad seeing out here, seeing it out here like this. Like, this would have made an awesome car to put back on the road. Like It's not too late. Well, I mean, you know how, like, uh, what is it? You know how they, they make the old race cars, like, they they make them street legal again and drive them? Yeah. Oh. Look at the rust in the frame, dude. Oh, yeah, the roll cage threaded, threaded pipe. And yeah, they just like heated it up and bent it and probably torch welded this thing. I don't know. But yeah, they, oh gosh. Wow. They needed some gap welding back in the day. Hey. This is the sketchiest cage I've ever seen. Yeah, look at that long piece. Just, just, ah, just leave it. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely yeah, I mean, you, you can see more frame bracing the bumpers more reinforced it's welded to the fenders so they okay, the roll cage is way cleaner in this one yeah yeah this cage actually is bent they yep. took the dash out they relocated the battery this is a you tell is a much later car oh throttle linkage is a little locked up good thing i brought some wd-40 all right well, someone get the hot sauce let's fire this sucker up let's take it for one last lap go left it's going left. Okay, that's all we need. To yeah. Do. This thing's cool. It is. <laughs> Threaded pipe. I love. I mean, see, they just 
They did it because it's what they had back then. You That's know? for the uh, tow bar. Awesome. That was probably for... That's the tow bar, yeah. Sweet. Well, boys, as nice as it is out here, I think we're just prolonging the inevitable. Uh, yeah, I think... <laughs> it might be four. I'm not oh sure. God. Yeah. Well, because we're only taking back roads and we're going under the speed <laughs> limit. And that doesn't count gas stops, so... Having a fun time. Yep. Oh, no, it's it's great, actually. Yeah. It's really fun. Yeah. But it's only going to get hotter from here. We need to stop and get some tires yes. at, like, Agar Supply, but that's not going to be for, like, 100 miles. So, so we got to... We, got, we do have to get going because we're going to have to take the tires off. And change them and over. And change them over and stuff. Yeah. So we should get going. Okay. Hey, buddy. What's up, bud? You ready? Yeah. Oh, man, there's no storage space in this thing. Mm -hmm. Oh. And I'm... That's hard to get your legs in. Oh. All right. Let's go. All right, man. Let's do it. We're here. See how much gas we used. That five miles felt like another 50. That was five miles? We are at 2.7 gallons. And you want to just round it off to 60 miles? Yeah. Since we were going up hills and stuff. Well, that's horrible. Dude, that's like 25 miles a gallon. It's better than my dually. Yeah, 21 miles a gallon, dude. Uh, I think we ought to check it again. Yeah, we can check it again. Yeah, we'll check it again. I want to believe it's better. Yeah. Gotta be a better. Mm. Breakfast to champions. All right, fuzzy navel. How you doing? Hanging in there like a hair in a biscuit. All right, we'll pull it out and keep eating. would improve the steering, oh, suspension, acceleration, and braking. So, for the next 50 miles, Ike went solo as he cruised through the city of Durham. Well, it turns out that losing a passenger didn't magically make the handling any better. But we didn't let that dampen our spirits. We kept on trucking towards the beach, hoping to make up for our lousy fuel mileage at our next fill-up. Distance, you know, it makes that left and right turn. Second fuel stop. Yeah, we got a little bit low, so gonna top it up, but. We came prepared. Yeah, we averaged 25.8 this time. It's so bad. That is not good. Hey, all. only 40 miles to Agri Supply. We can get some new rear tires for this thing. Right. And then another, I don't know, 50 miles from there. And, and we'll think about changing the tires. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'll be happy to drive this thing. And if it's really sketchy, I will give it back. I think you need some air conditioning. I've never driven this before. So I'm gonna see what happens. Steering is not good. Do a brake check. Woo! There we go. is a handful and this thing gets more attention than maybe anything else we've ever ridden around 
We're here at Agri Supply, which is an awesome farm supply store, and we're gonna try to find some trailer tires because as awesome as these are, they're not for street use. Yeah, and that's our fault, not the tires. Yeah, fault. so don't do that, folks. Yeah. Don't do that. So let's go find some tires. All right. So this right here, you get you, get you a three wheeler. I want to put four of these on a go kart and see if it'll float. Oh, yeah, but you know what the best but thing I want about a bigger these one. is when you when you start doing a burnout with these, they sound like two bloodhounds going after somebody. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's so funny. We're gonna get kicked out of here. So it appears they don't have the size we need. Is that is that what I'm hearing? Yeah. Dang. So we were not able to source any tires, but it'll be fine. So the guys are checking the transmission. And next stop should be the OG Cars and Cameras headquarters. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. I thought he, he lost the race. Yeah, I thought he was overtaking a car. I think they were just trying to take a photo. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, hey. You going to the beach, too? Man, I've been walking for a while. I got these south of the border. You know, 4th of July, I got to have a little extra pop. Hopefully we can catch a ride to the beach because I, I can't walk anymore. But let's see if there's a car coming. Maybe I can get to, maybe I can get his attention with this. Oh, oh yeah, I think I got him. Hey man, you need hey. a ride? Yeah man, you read my mind. You wouldn't happen to be going to the beach, would you? That's exactly where I'm going. Golly. Hop on in. All right. Whew. All right. Quick question. Yeah. You want to light one up? What? Fireworks, man. Oh. For, for tomorrow night. So yeah, don't miss me, out. Man. These are the best ones from over the border. All right, man. Let's go to the beach. All right. feel air conditioning oh oh chuck likes air conditioning <laughs> man that was one wild ride i should have known but thank you all right i'll see y'all boys at the beach i got a family to go see but before i leave i got a message why don't y'all do yourself a favor and go to cars-cameras.com pick yourself a fresh t-shirt up gotta like get the hair out the great. way yeah you gotta get my mullet out the way but i'll see y'all later i like the new corvette mid-engine stuff yeah that's cool so we made it to our destination for the evening, the OG Cars and Cameras headquarters. Uh, the boys are checking things over. We got another 100 miles to go in the morning. Uh, the hitchhiker left. I think he said his name is Chuck, but Charles is back to help us work on the yeah. car. <laughs> yeah, this thing, uh, it, the, I tried putting, now, I, I you guys, I'm sure you know how it works. Everybody's gonna correct me because I'm wrong. But uh, this this transmission, like gearbox or whatever, I thought that maybe we should put some rear main seal stop leak in the transmission fluid because the seal is leaking. So it's like swell the seal, maybe it'll stop. It didn't stop. I don't think it made it any worse, but it's it's dripping out of the output shaft for the little sprocket driving the big driving the big one. Is it gonna be all right? Yeah. But it's actually working out in our favor because it's lubricating the chain as it drips. <laughs> so it's a win-win, or it's a win-lose-win, win, whatever you want to call it. Win, lose oil, but win because it's hitting the chain. Mm -hmm. And we're doing our break-in oil chain. Yeah, she After, broke in now, boy. Yeah, probably like four or five hours of run time. Yeah. The King Midget has been maintained. It's made it this far. Tomorrow, we're going a shorter distance, uh, but more importantly, we're gonna be getting breakfast and then going to a 4th of July parade. I mean, after all, this is basically a street legal parade car. So to prepare for the parade, here's what we have. Charles is taping our stickers to some candy that we can throw at the kids at the parade. We can throw at the kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, I definitely don't wanna hit any kids because the parents might throw it back at us. But. You know, 
It's going piece of candy and you get a nice sticker handed out by us. I left my hometown, now I'm coming back to be in the parade to throw, ki throw candy at the kids. Hey, these look sweet, man. Oh, well, thank you. It's mighty nice of you. I think they're <laughs> gonna work pretty good. Yeah. All right, so we'll see you again bright and early in the morning. Got a little bit of a mess this morning. I, I'm gonna say that this King Midget is a male. I had a sweating horsepower. Yeah, it leaked out of, on three out of four corners of the vehicle. <laughs> yeah. And some of this looks really bad. Uh, uh, the left rear, I, this must be from the shock. Oh wait, lack of shock. All it is is a spring. <laughs> Alright fellas, it's time for some breakfast. Sounds good, I'm starving. We stopped in at the iconic Yoder's Dutch Kitchen in Grifton, North Carolina for some breakfast and to check out their hardware store. It's, it already doesn't have steering, so I haven't been to the But I really wanted to move this around the store. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Do you, do you talk? Okay. <laughs> so we're looking for some transmission fluid. So, let's see. What, what did you say you saw? Uh, there's some uh, engine oil there. We got engine oil. The tire steering stop leak over there. Oh, okay. So we got our stuff. Let's get to the parade. At the roundabout, take the first exit onto East Front Street. Everyone's getting set up for the parade. We're refueling the midget. We got a, a rascal mini bike Charles is gonna be on. We're early for once. Yeah. I'm documenting the whole thing, you know, like the mod like the modern man. Uh, but all these photos are gonna be thrown into random orders on our website uh, while supplies last. So if you get something on cars-cameras.com, you may get a photo from our adventure. So we made it to the Beaufort 4th of July Parade. We've gotten over 280 miles so far on the King Midget. We have almost made it to the beach for fireworks this evening. Uh, they're calling for some weather, but the weather's beautiful right now. And we are lined up for the parade. They put on quite a show here in Beaufort, North Carolina. So uh, we're gonna do our part and have a good time. I made it. It's the only Thanks, time you buddy. can drive a mini bike down the street. Huh? Yeah, I know. It looks very homemade. Yeah. Very on brand. There we go. Bingo. I like the way you put <laughs> That's how you spin it. Oh, Have you looked at the right rear tire on that thing? The drive tire? Oh. Don't oh, you dear. worry about it. Don't worry about me. Don't you worry about it. We only have to finish up the road trip and then drive home. It'll good, be fine. Good thing it was inspected with the new tires. Yeah. Oh, and we know the tires are on backwards, guys. Yeah. The tire shop put them on backwards. Yeah, I... Don't get us kicked out. Yeah, no, no burnouts. Wait till the end. Danny, woo! Just throwing it. What's up? <laughs> there goes Chuck. He's throwing it at the dog. Happy Fourth! Hey, there's Charles' parents. There's Brenna. There's Miles. Hey, guys. Candy. You want some candy? Oh, no. He's... <laughs> oh, hey, buddy. Hey, his dad. Oh, no. He's not having a good time. He's not having a good time. Hey, poor little guy. Make some candy. <laughs> oh, my bad. Candy. candy! Woo! Dude, we just gave away 15 pounds of candy. Oh, they're pretty much out. This has been awesome. Oh, definitely. There's only like there's only one reason to have three horns on a vehicle. Dog's got my leg. Did you find a new mullet? Yeah, man. Found it. Did somebody drop this in the road? Blasphemy. I'm like, 
time. Uh, well, let's, uh, I guess we gotta load the bike up and then head to my parents' house. So the okay. Open 4th of July parade was awesome. I think I hit about three kids in the face with candy, but you know what? The King Midget made it. The 69 Street Legal Parade car was returned 300 miles to a parade. We have a few a few miles left to get to that 300 mark, but we're gonna head to Chuck's parents' place and uh, look the thing over one more time. I, you, you have really enjoyed. So, who's sugar daddy in the seat? You, you really enjoyed yourself, huh? A little too much. We eat it. Like it Bill was Murray, open in like, the bag. Like Bill Murray in uh, Game Shack? It was open in the bag. Ah, I'd eat it. One. There you go, buddy. There you go, Miles. Look at that. We're still working on steering. Good job, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, come on. I know the brakes don't work yet, but that's okay. You can't even reach the pedal. Oh, thanks. So when I was younger, uh, we had this garage built, but I wasn't allowed to work in it on go kart stuff because I always made a mess. But this this is where I had this is where I started out. You know, uh, working on go karts, and I guess it was just the one that I had, and then my buddy had one. But yeah, this was now it's just storage for plywood for the hurricane and stuff, but. My chain hoist don't look at the way I mounted it. <laughs> I was only lifting go karts. So. But uh, you got yeah, a you seat just, there. Yep. This is my old original spindle that's all blown out. This is my uh, my catch all. Like uh, I don't I don't know if everybody I don't know if I've told the story, but um, working at working where I was and messing with go karts, somebody uh, that did engine rebuilds. They, fo they focused more on overhead valve stuff and all the flathead stuff went to the back of the shop. And it, what you see is what I got. I just got boxes of fuel tanks, just pistons and just random pieces, but it's it's stuff that you can't find anymore. Or oh, stuff that you can't find anymore. And then like, this one's a brand new block. Oh, sweet. Like it's still got cross hatching in it and everything. So it just needs to be assembled uh got a billet connecting rod and it's longer than the original so it's a stroker but i don't have anything else for it see this weld so like these the the cam rolls and and the lifter is up and down and the cam would literally snap that off so then they would rebuild it but look that's what happens when there's not a roller bearing there wow yeah, yeah. that one's kind of done isn't it? yeah i mean but dude, we could take this and make a trophy out of it yeah so there's a storm coming. We still need to get to the beach, but we've put just about 300 miles on this thing in two days. And we've learned that just because you can, doesn't mean you should. So now let's go set off some fireworks. Chuck's fireworks. Oh yeah. He left us a disposable camera. Oh man. Yeah, we gotta fill that thing out. Disappointment. It is time to. What are you doing? So on that terrible disappointment. 
movement, it is time to end. Thank y'all for watching. Happy Independence Day. We'll see you next time.